Hello there everyone and welcome to bitparade.co.uk's look at Yakuza 0. Um, now we've been sent this um, to review um, and we're um, uh, we're still in the preview stage as, 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 as it stands so I can only show you the content from uh, it's the first six chapters I think this is maybe chapter five I think um, so it's it's an area I've already been I've already done uh, I'm just going to talk over the video um, had a few issues trying to capture it um, and um, so there's a few things uh, just to talk about um, first up so we're gonna I'm gonna walk around and try and just find a, a fight or something I think might just pick up on some property here or maybe not um, so we were asked not to show too much in the way of um, uh, in the way of story stuff like to show some running around show some show some fighting show some of the mini games and stuff to, to show what Yakuza is because it's not um, it's not a linear, kind of it's linear, but it's, it's got lots of stuff going on. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the, the problem is at this point I've I've done a lot of stuff that um, I've cleared out a lot of the side missions things. There are a few looking around, and you just saw that it said shut up asshole, or asshole, asshole, on the, uh, on the screen. Um, there's there's people getting attacked and stuff that you can uh, you can join in. These, it's just a random fight. So... Uh, there's a lot of this. If you've played a Yakuza game, you will have, have seen this before. There's lots of fighting. Um, I don't do very well in uh, the combat in this, but um, yeah. So, health is the uh, the orange bar. Below that is your heat gauge. The more full that is, uh, the more powerful you are. You can expend it by uh, pressing triangle at certain points. Um, if someone's on the floor, if you've grabbed hold of them. If they're, there's certain counter ones, so if someone's punching you, you can press triangle at the same time. And um, depending on which fighting style you're on. Um, and you'll do these really powerful moves. That, so you see, there you go. Um, and uh, the, the, they've always been my favourite thing about Yakuza. Right? I'd, I'd love the over the topness of it. The, the, it feels like they've got rid of some of the uh, the more interesting ones. I used to be able to, used to be able to like smack people against railings and stuff. And it's sort of still in there. It's just harder to do. Um, and uh, in some ways, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. But it's um, the combat still still good it's still probably the best thing about the game um and what they've done this time is and i'll hopefully i can't remember when i start showing it but that was the, the default style for uh kiryu kazuma um i think we just bump into this guy yeah and it triggers a fight there's certain people just look like they want to fight so just <laughs> just bump into them and you'll you'll start a fight so um I, i'll switch combat here i think so i've gone from the normal sort of brute uh whatever it's like brawler style into this brute or bear style, uh, beast mode it's called um, where you can when you attack you just pick up weapons if there's weapons on the floor, so if there's an area with lots of uh, weapons and signs and things like that on the bikes um, on on the floor, you switch to that you do a lot of damage, um, you pick them up as you're attacking rather than having to spend time doing it, so this is um, this is a side mission, just a, a little small thing, there's these phone cards on the floor and, and um, it's just a collectible. It's kind of the only collectible in the game, I guess. Um, and uh, I don't really know what phone cards are, but they've got pictures of girls on them, and, and he would um, would like to uh, to look at them, but he only wants matching sets. So he doesn't take them off you, he just wants to look at them, and that's it. There is another guy that I, I go and find now, because um, I know he's in the area, um, who really likes phone cards, really, really likes the girls from phone cards. Um, uh, so if the other thing to say is if if you've um, if you played Eku's game before you'll you'll recognise the the layout. This is um, uh, I can't remember the name of the area, but it's a, an area in Tokyo. There is a second city, whereas you play a second character called uh, Goro Majima, which we'll get to in a minute. So this is the other guy. There's certain people that you can make friends with by doing stuff for them. This is one of them. Um, like I say, he uh, really likes these phone cards. Yeah. Um, so his his deal. Is that um, you show these? You show him these phone cards with girls on them, and uh, he can stare at a dressed woman. And the, the, the women are dressed, but they're suggestively dressed. They're not in lingerie necessarily, but it'll be a shirt that's open, but you can't see anything. It'll be short shorts or something. You know, it's, it's that sort of thing. Um, nothing too revealing. Um, and uh, he can stare at it and um, and uh, see them naked if he stares at them long enough. So, and he finds girls that look like them. Uh, in the real world, and he will then go and uh, imagine them naked by the same. It, yeah, he's creepy. That he is, but that's the point of him is that he's he's creepy. You see, the friendship went up with him <laughs> because I've fed the pervert. Um, he uh, 
he's not the most perverted person in the game. There, there is someone that um, Majima deals with um, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's really the way he's introduced is is brilliant. There's some really funny moments um, in uh, in Yakuza as, as a general rule, but in this one as well. Um, so uh, yeah, the thing with uh, Majima. So if um, get to another fight here. As you can see, uh, there's there's different fighting styles. Um, I'm in the, the the beast mode still, and I think I uh, use um, it's a heat move. I think there we go. Um, uh, so some of the other heat moves with the wrestling one are my favourite. The, the wrestling moves, if you like, that you know he power bombs people and stuff like that. It's great. Um, oh, so I got um, a CP there. CP is this other kind of currency. Um, where you can unlock certain things, so you can sprint while you're just running around. Um, you can sprint for longer if um, you come and spend the CP. You can recruit girls for um, for clubs and things that you, that you've got, and um, there's little things like that that um, I don't know. It's 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 not something you need to uh, to engage with, I guess. Um, so uh, yeah, so Goro Majima is um, in another city in Japan, and. Uh, He's slightly different from how he is in, in other games, but he's got three separate combat styles as well, and you, you pick them up progressively. Um, you get them both fairly early, or for both characters, you get all three fairly early. Um, and then you can level up the moves. I think I'll have a look at the uh, level up procedure in uh, in a minute. But if you look out here, you'll see as I attack people, money comes out of them. And uh, you can see I've got the money in the in the corner there. And uh, um, there we go. Um and I've switched to uh, the rush style. This doesn't do as much damage, um, but you can you can dodge. And you see, I'm not doing particularly well, but I'm dodge and, and stuff. And you attack quite quickly, so um, it's I don't know. I quite like it. It's, it's not bad. I've used it. Um, I, I just did a, a boss fight with uh, Majima, and uh, the guy was dodging me, so I switched to his equivalent of this and um, managed to sort of just finish off the fight. Before that, I hadn't needed to do it. I was I was using the more powerful one. Um, it's less interesting in a way because there's not as many um, heat moves and stuff. So that that purple bar, it's it's good to be more powerful because it's maxed out. But at the same time, it's not doing. Um, I, I like the interesting moves, I like the fun moves, and um, they're not in there so much. But it's it's nice to have different mixes of styles. At least uh, makes you do things. And again, the CP stuff that pops up sometimes uh, as we look at the uh, moves lists and stuff. The CP stuff doing. Um, Beating characters or beating enemies with each different type, you know, getting to 20 enemies defeated um, using the brawler type and so on and so on gets you a CP point and keeps going. So it's worth switching out. You can see I need like 30 million now to unlock these next moves. Initially it's like 400,000 or something. So it's it's a, it's a interesting way of doing it. It means that the random battles and making money and stuff um, kind of always worth doing just because then you get some more money. Um, but the way you earn big money is using, uh, for, for Kazuma, it's this real estate stuff. Um, so I think the video changes here. I had to capture this in two parts, so you can see a, a little stutter in a minute. Um, and we will go and look at the um, the real estate stuff. I don't fully understand it yet. I've not had to, uh, I've not had to engage with it fully, but I've done a, a bit. Um, uh, so... Um, you're, it's going to take a long time to earn 30 million and then even longer to earn another 30 million and another 30 million and another 30 million. Um, so you, you initially level up quite quickly um, and then it, it slows down a lot. And so buying property with Kazuma and then bringing that money back in, um, you know, taking the profits from it, uh, is a, a good way to, uh, I presume, a good way to make money. I, um, like I say, I haven't at the minute. But it's all tied to... Um, this uh, so I think I, I buy this one um, and uh, it's when you buy stuff it's um, the Leisure King area there's these five billionaires and you're you're trying to um, take them down for someone um, and so you need to the way you do it is by undermining them and, and taking their area and, and um, owning all the property and stuff so uh, go back up to uh, this again so this is something to, uh, to talk about is the game dulls this stuff out quite slowly. Uh, in in the past, Yakuza's kind of just thrown a lot of stuff at you. You can see my uh, my pie chart has uh, got a bit bigger. So it says um, start collection. I can invest. So if I want to invest, um, I've already invested in this one. I understand it a bit better now after doing uh, going back and doing this. 
so you you have agents that you can um, you can use. Um, so you want to invest to make the your property worth more and uh, earn more money. Um, but you don't want to leave yourself too short because you're going to need money anyway. Um, but I, the, what I didn't understand was um, I don't know how to do. Um, I don't know how to earn like to get the money. I know I press triangle to start money. Um, uh, claiming the money back and stuff, but uh, you'll see it on the. I'm gonna go back in a second, but I don't know how to do it, and I don't know how to set a security guard either. I, I presume it's got one, but um, yeah, so you see there, uh, start collection. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it does. Like, maybe it's just not full. Maybe it takes time to do. It. Maybe I'm starting it now, and I need to come back in a bit. We'll. I'll spend some more time with it because the uh, you know I need to uh, obviously I need to spend time with it for the uh, review anyway. Um, but yeah, um, the people that I've dealt with in the side missions have, have come on to uh, to help me as well and, and come on board. So it's maybe worth spending time doing some of the side missions to um, to recruit better staff. Um, because other than that, the side missions don't really net you a lot. You might get an item, or um, it's just a way to kill time generally. Um, so I think we I'll go and um, maybe I do one more fight or something, and then um, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing the story. I wanted to show some of the stuff that's in the game. Oh, we might be moving on. So, and the reason I picked this bit in terms of a story mission is um, it doesn't go too in detail about what's going on on the the great story arc. But I will say the story so far has been very, very good, um, or at least the the initial part of it. Uh, I want to show you that the cutscenes are, are pretty good looking. The you know the um, CG ones. Um, the uh, I won't go too much into the other graphics, I guess. But the, in terms of technical side, the, um, you could tell it's an old engine. Um, it doesn't look bad, it certainly doesn't look archaic or anything, but it's not as, like, round edges aren't as round as they could be and, and things like that, but it's, generally, it's um, it's a decent looking game. Um, they, they do alright with the uh, the in-game cutscenes as well. Some of it is just like, uh, and then text appears, like, oh, text appears kind of thing. But then there's also quite well acted, seemingly, um, based on my like, lack of understanding of Japanese. Seems like it's fairly well acted. Um, some of it's fairly well written, some of it obviously isn't, but um, yeah, it's like I say, it's good. It's a nice little reward when you get um, CG, which is what I've always, like, I've always liked that about games, is um, uh, having, you know, getting a nice bit of uh, CG after a huge boss, by, uh, boss fight and stuff like that. It doesn't tend to happen now. You get um, in-game cutscenes and stuff, so it's good to have it. Um, but yeah, so one of the reasons I picked this bit is, like I say, you'd, uh, this doesn't really spoil too much of, of what's going on, but um, we get to do some karaoke. And uh, so, whilst I'll, I'll talk over this while it's, it's going on, um, the game opens with you, uh, with some story stuff, I won't spoil it, but it, it starts, you know, pretty pretty good, pretty full on. And then Nishiki, your, your friend here, um, is, uh, he... So it tells you, because like, oh, you, it's set early days of, of Kazuma's Yakuza career, and he, he tells you, look, you're not doing Yakuza in right, you need to look the part, you need to act the part, you're, you're, you're a big guy, you can fight, but you need to do, you know. Um, so he takes you out and he shows you some stuff, and one of the things you do, go and do is, is karaoke, and it's just the game's way of um, introducing that aspect of it, and while you're walking around doing that, it then shows you, um, you get stopped by a guy who wants to train you to fight, and um, it... it it's weird having this uh, ultra serious story put up against the the nonsense aspects, uh, or the more ludicrous aspects. Nonsense is maybe going a bit far. Um, the more gamey aspects, the the funner aspects, if you like, the, the less than serious stuff. Um, that's it's not a, a bad thing that it does it. It's it's weird seeing it as upfront as it is because quite often these are things you find out for yourself rather, and this this time they're just kind of presented. Um, now, I, I didn't play 5, I missed 5, so maybe um, maybe that's a different thing, but uh, in Yakuza 4, they use the different characters to do it, and in 3, it's, it's just kind of like you go and find it yourself, and 2 as well, so um, yeah, so the way it sort of slowly introduces this stuff, so the real estate stuff, I've played a lot of this game and, and then it introduced the real estate stuff and even then it's like, you, you know, go and deal with it and then you don't have to touch it again if you don't really want to, but I would. Um, so it, it's it's an interesting way of doing it. Um, 
But there's a lot of stuff I haven't been bowling yet. I haven't been to the baseball uh, stuff yet. I haven't done those sorts of things because I'm not really interested in it. Uh, in terms of time, I, uh, I'm i a few chapters on from... I'm more than that now, but I'm a few chapters on from this at the point where I was recording it. And I'd, um, I was at 30 odd hours and I'm nowhere near the end of the game. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of game there. And the, I noticed it yesterday. The reason... I hadn't really made huge amounts of progress in the story is because I've been doing the side quests and there's a lot of them um, and they can take time they can you know if you go and do keep going keep going keep going you can you can end up doing quite a lot um, and it, it fills your time out so if, if you want to just avoid it then you know you you can you can just run past people you, it can present you with the the side story and you could just go yeah no thanks and walk off you might have to watch the intro part of it but then just leave it and not not deal with it um, so you don't get huge amounts for it, so uh, but some of them are, are quite funny and quite interesting, and it, it breaks things up a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do some karaoke um, whilst we're waiting for my uh, one of my bosses to turn up. Um, I really like the karaoke. Um, we're not doing it pro like Kazuma's not gonna be singing on this. Um, you can you can do singing or you can do backup. We don't get the choice on this one. Uh, we're just doing backup, but um, I like it. Um, it's it's nonsense, um, but it starts off just sort of fairly normal, and then it just turns uh, over the top. Um, but you see, it's, it's just um, you know rhythm action type, uh, uh, you know basic sort of stuff. Pressing the the right button, I, I do mess it up a little bit towards the end as well. Um, but this is Kazuma just shouting <laughs> random things out. Um, yeah, this is like I say, this is maybe less interesting than when you're or when Kazuma's up singing. But it's it's that thing of seeing Kazuma do something that he's um, he shouldn't be doing. Um, it's something that's always been an appeal to Yakuza, and 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 I think that's why it's presented more up front this time. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's, it's stuff you don't have to engage with all the time, but it occasionally does just put it in front of you, and you're now doing this because we need to introduce this mechanic. Um, so some of the hostess stuff at this point I hadn't seen like they just it, it, the, the stuff that is a big part of previous games was absent um, so it you know is in there but it's, it's just not yet you're not encouraged to do it there's too much for you to do like I say this has just gone nonsense now but I, I like it I love that it it does this as, as Kazma just on backing vocals um, I said I've messed it up messed it up I've just fallen apart um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's. I've got, I've got a lot to play. I've played more than than this, but um, based on these, uh, like I say it's quite a lot of game. But these are uh, opening chapters. It's a it's a good entry, I think, a good entry into the series because it's it's the way it staggers stuff out. It isn't just throwing everything at you. It seems like it's suited to um, to introducing slowly to someone. Um, anyway. Um, the video's just about done, so um, uh, it's out in the next uh, next couple of weeks. Yakuza, I think. I forget what date, twenty fourth, I think. So, um, uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth looking into. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. This has been for BitParade.co.uk.